Okay, good morning um, to all of the crocheters out there, um, knitters as well if you knit. Um, I just wanted to come and show you all the second project that I'm making for my yarn addiction. Um, and it is actually a throw which I've gotten off of um, hookers don't bite. And I will post that link somewhere on the screen or either down below in the, this, in the description box. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all this. This is the throw here. And I am using, make sure this is zoomed out. So this is just on my bed for right now, just to show you all how long it is. Um, I'm going to actually turn it the other way. Because this could be something. Okay. This is a queen size bed. And... It's almost as long or as wide as the queen size bed is. Almost. So, that's that. Um, I am... This is a very simple and easy pattern to do. I'm not going to um, show the exact pattern that I had printed out, but... Um, like I said, I'll post the um, the link to this pattern um, down below. And I am doing this in a half double crochet using the Q hook. And I am using the Red Heart Super Saver um, Gray Heather um, yarn. And as you can see, I have three strands. One, two, and three. And <clears throat> I decided to do this throw because after I made my first project, which was the um, three strand chunky scarf um, that I made, or um, rib stitch scarf that I made, I still had plenty of the Claret left. I thought I only had four skeins, but I end up having like five. Um, because when I was working on my scarf, I had two extra skeins that I had not touched. Um, so I still had a lot of that. And so this is pretty much um, everything that I've used. I still have two and a half skeins of the claret but I ended up just adding the gray in there just to you know add a different color to it um, but I am going to finish off with the claret if I really really wanted to I could just um, make this pattern um, leave it like it is and just do two colors but I'm just going to add the um, claret so I don't know I'm not really sure how long this is um, right now but looking at it um, I might just finish off this row here um, with the um, gray and then add the claret so, and I'm not really sure how many rows I've done. I'm just doing this project um, until it gets to a size that I like. So, um, and I'm also, like I said, I'm going to finish off with the Claret. But I'm thinking I may have to go back to Walmart and probably buy um, an extra um one or two skeins to finish off with the claret um so yeah i'm trying not to but i'm gonna work with the claret first add that on and work with it as far as i can and you know just um see what i have 
first before I go and purchase any more. Um, and the plan was actually to do the whole throw in claret, but I had the gray yarn sitting and I wanted to use that because I've had this for a while and had not touched it. And I still have a lot of yarn that I have in the closet, in my crafting closet, um, which I have not used. Um, some that I've purchased two or three weeks ago and have not touched. I don't know what project I want to do with it um, as of yet. Um, so, yeah. And I will be also doing the... Um, the um, yarn kit or the crocheting kit um, so that I'll be able to go ahead and use up the yarn. Um, so yeah, and I think that that's a good idea for, you know, people who have, you know, yarn just sitting around. You can go ahead and make your kit, put whatever yarn that you want to use um, into a plastic bag along with whatever pattern that you want to use. I think that is a very good idea. So I think that I'm going to start doing that from here on out because, like I said, I don't want to have so much yarn that it just clutters everywhere. Um, even though my stash is not really that huge, I just don't want to, you know, overdo it and um, have yarn everywhere and I don't know what I have. So I want to try to keep it all together, keep it as small as possible um, because I just don't want it to take over the home, you know. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this, um, this throw because I have been trying to finish this this week, but between um, babysitting and my uncle passing I have not really had the time to really um, work on this project I've been working on it off and on since I've added the gray um, but I'm gonna try to finish this before next weekend comes up um, so yeah but I will be coming back to show you all the finished product of it because I'm thinking of actually, I don't know, I'm thinking of adding a border um, to it or either um, adding a fringe onto this um, throw. But if I add a border, I'm not really sure as to what color I'm going to add. Um... But if I add a fringe to the top and bottom, I'll do a mixture of gray and claret if I have enough um, yarn left over to add. But, um, yeah. So those are the two ideas that I have for that. Um, and I'm, I don't know, I may not do the border that the pattern has. Um, on there, I may decide to do something different. I have a book with some different edgings to do, and I may just do something different with that. But, um, yeah. So, I will go ahead and finish this up, and I will see you all once I get this, um, done. And I hope you all like what you see. Um... But please feel free to, um, you know, give me some feedback and I will talk to you all later.